there was a UFC fight night. Now you're wondering why does that matter when it comes to this Brady Gronk thing, right? So it came out that there was some things that happened back in the day that lent themselves to some piecing some various clips that we'd always kind of wondered what they really were and now it all kind of comes full circle. I'm just going to play these clips. Scotty, you should be able to hear these as well. And we're Ooh, fun. And we're going to we're going to make sure that you guys get caught up on this, which there there was a chance, a really good chance that Brady and Gronk could be united in the Las Vegas Raiders organization. Well, didn't quite happen. But let's dive in to a little bit of a film session here and let's talk about this because let, we'll, we'll play the clip first. And this is from the fight night. By the way, Usman uh, upset by Leon Edwards, in case you guys were wondering about that. Uh, that was a crazy. Uh, I like going back and seeing the knockouts. Did you see the knockout, Scotty, on, on socials? I, I did not. Oh, man. Sorry. It was good. But let's go ahead. We'll play this clip here. And I want you guys to. Kind of let us know your thoughts as we're going through this. But uh, give me one second. Let me pull this up here. I also got another question for you, man. I know when Tom was a free agent about like you can two, hear this, Scotty. What was it? Two, three years ago before uh, he went to Tampa, you gave him a recruiting pitch on why he should join the Vegas Raiders. What went wrong with that recruiting pitch that you gave him? <laughs> <laughs> Do I really tell this story right now, God? Do you want me to tell this story? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, yeah. hey, you, you can give a brief story. You don't got to go too much in details because you never know. I, I could have been in Vegas with you for the last three years, man. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, it's still there. You would have been. Down. You would have been. So I would have been. I, I'm the one. I, I, I worked to put that deal together for Brady and Gronk to come to the Raiders and it was almost a done deal and at the last minute Gruden blew the deal up and said that he didn't want him and whoa all whoa. hell broke loose man it, it was crazy and, and and Brady was already looking at houses and it wasn't Ooh. being said yet that Gronk was coming so Las Vegas would have had Brady and Gronk the year that the Bucks won the Super Bowl except Gruden blew the deal up and there's so much story that goes along with this behind the scenes. And I I, I was never going to tell that story till Ronk just said it. But uh, and, yeah. And Dana, oh, that, that is exactly what happened. happened. And you just told the story. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what happened. Wow. wow. Breaking news. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. So you have that clip right there. All right. So mm -hmm. at that point, you're just like, wow. Like, John Gruden had the option to have Brady and Gronk come. Like, w sometimes you wonder uh, whether or not I mean, you look back on Gruden and, like, kind of all that he, he, you know, he was such a, when he was in the booth, he was one of the most coveted coaches out there. He was like, oh, where is he going to go? He wants, like, you know, and then you see the disaster and the train wreck that happened when he was back in the mix on the coaching level, making plays, all these different things happening with like, I mean, he traded Khalil Mack away or, or, you know, he had all of these questionable kind of moves, but this coming out and, and you could tell Dana didn't want to get into this. You could tell Dana was like, Oh, should I be talking about this right now? Cause honestly, honestly, it's like, this is, this is kind of not supposed to be out there. But real quick, Scotty, mm -hmm. before we yep. go into this, there was yeah. one other cl clip that I wanted to reference because then we started going and tracing back some steps. We started doing some deductions of like maybe some other things that we heard, one of which was from the shop. This was trending as well. On and this and this clip was so the this UFC was last night obviously correct this clip from the shop was like last was it this past off season this off past off season or is it the one before I can't remember but it was it was a while ago it, it was wasn't a, like yesterday or anything like that no 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 so here is the clip from a while back this was a long long time ago a few months ago you're right it was this year 
Because yeah. a lot of people speculated different teams. And they were they were and all of a sudden Miami came into the mix and they were like Miami, because like the whole situation with the yacht thing. <clears throat> but then you hear this. There was a story in free agency. One of the teams, they were interested, and all of a sudden they weren't interested at the very end. I was sitting there thinking, you're sticking with that motherfucker? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Tom probably had no desire to go to that team, but now it's like, why don't you want me? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. When sure. I look back, I'm like, there's no fucking way I would have went to that team. <laughs> <laughs> but they said they didn't want me, and I know what that means. I know what that feels like, and I'm going to fuck you up because of that. <laughs> There you go. So there's that. <laughs> so then everyone's speculating. Okay, now we're going back into this. And he was talking about the Raiders and Derek Carr that whole time when he was talking about that that particular moment in the interview on the shop saying, hey, you're sticking with that guy? Well, here you are. They stuck with that guy. And here, here we're looking at this from retrospect in a whole different light. This whole story is idiotic <laughs> to me, Chris. But if I would have heard there he is the barbershop thing with the We're going again. Hold on. The season, Hold on, wait. We're, 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 we're going. Years, I got to go okay? back to yeah. that. Hold but on. I would have I would There's this weird wonky thing here. Oh, there, hey. the oh, there's our guy. What's up? I had no idea that you there was a team that was interested in Tom Brady and Well, I guess. Okay. So Listen, this doesn't make any sense at all. I think all of this could be true. I think Dana White could have felt like it was close with Las Vegas. I think John Gruden could have been like, no. And I think Tom Brady could have been talking about the Raiders when discussing that HBO clip. Tom Brady was... Ne Why in the hell would Tom Brady let Dana White negotiate a deal for him? It's super like, that weird. wasn't happening. That wasn't happening. But was he going to hurt Dana White's feelings? No. There was no way Tom Brady was coming to the Raiders. There was zero chance. Whether Gruden wanted him or not, Tom Brady was not going to be a Las Vegas Raider. I don't know if you've seen their defense recently, but Tom Brady only plays with good defenses by rule, Chris. Yeah. And guess what Las Vegas hasn't had? A good defense in forever. In forever. <laughs> So there's no chance he was actually considering. He probably wasn't wanting to hurt Dana White's feelings. He's like keeping all his options open. Like at this point, we've heard that Tom Brady was close to signing with half the league a couple years ago when he ended up with Tampa Bay. Like it seems like every team's been in the mix. Miami with ownership, all these other teams that were in the mix. Like it, it's just exhausting. I think, and then I think Gronk just played with it, played along with it. He's like, yeah, I, I'm on your show. Like, yeah, we, we could have been in Las Vegas. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, they would have been in Las Vegas. He was not coming to Vegas, even if Gruden wanted him. All of the things could be true outside of, in Tom Brady's head, I guarantee he was never signing in Las Vegas. He might have led Dana White to believe that was a real option, but it was not an option. There's no way it was an option. Tom Brady's too smart for that shit. He would not have fallen for that. Um, and it's just bizarre to me that why is Dana White involved in an NFL negotiation at all? Uh, props to him for what he's done and what he's built with the UFC. Credit, all credit there, but like, he's not involved with the NFL. Stop it. Stop it, Dana. I mean, what? He's, he, he's pretty much a Las Vegas guru when it comes to putting on pay-per-views and knowing all that. So maybe, maybe that was part of it. I don't know. Maybe like, they're like, Oh, you know, if there's a guy that's an authority when it comes to big time events here in Las Vegas, it's Dana White. He's built a, a massive, just UFC is huge. And he owns most of Las Vegas events when it comes to, I mean, boxing isn't around as much as it used to be. So UFC is where it's at, and he's maybe that that influencer that maybe tried to maybe I, who knows maybe the, the Raiders were trying to the ownership was trying to maybe lure him in, but then that goes against what like the whole Gruden wanting him or like but but what Brady said in that that shop interview was we had something on and then it changed last minute, so it was like there it was gonna happen it's not no no he said they were interested and then at the last minute they weren't but then you that's also, what he said but not, then, that, not that it was gonna go down just that there was a team interested at the very end that all of a sudden wasn't but then then someone's live when they're saying he's he's house shopping in las vegas 
you know, he's, he, he can, he, he probably house shopped everywhere. In fact, even if he bought a home in each place, he probably, you know, he, he could have done it. Could have just bought a home out of all the places that were interested in him, <laughs> Chris. He would have done just fine. So, um, I don't know. I'm just not buying that story. There's a couple more Brady things we're going to get into as he's not even been in camp, although it sounds like he's going to be back in the next couple days, finally, that I, I like. I find even more fascinating and insane, but funny. Well, I mean, there's been... I mean, let, let's, let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Mm-hmm. Now... You, there's also he's taking some time away from the team and people are like well what what does that mean what is that looking like what is he doing what is very secretive about what's going on with that so then there's rumors that he's like you know trying to you know get things situated in his home life and uh, uh, there's there's rumors out there that Giselle was not happy about him unretiring and coming back to the league. So there's like the whole marriage thing, and they're trying to figure that out. Scotty, there's a couple other twists in this one. Like, mm-hmm. th- what are you? What else are you hearing on this? I mean, the main one. A lot of you probably heard it. The main rumor that came out of like a, on the Reddit dark webs, uh, dark webs was that the reason Tom Brady <laughs> has been away from the team is because he is on this year's uh season of mass the mask singer oh. is it mass singer g girl yeah, ha- threw that in the chat yeah mm-hmm. um and like so i don't know if you guys have seen the actual reddit stream where this person breaks it down admits fully there's wild speculation but like there are para paragraphs upon paragraphs of like why the timing makes sense the fact that he retired and it's a fox show and other athletes have done it so he already maybe signed on when he retired and like the timing of like different airings of like the tapings and it fits within the timing of like where he could have gone to film for it um like they break it 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 is chris you love yourself a conspiracy theory um and so you i'll send you this link when i get a chance but like it lined up perfectly and it made a lot of sense um i mean i knew it was bullshit from the start because tom brady won fake his retirement was never real it was never a real retirement he knew exactly what he was doing. He was trying to play his cards to get out of Tampa. It didn't work. He's back in Tampa. I've talked about this before. So there's no way he's signing on to the masked dancer in that week that he was retired. Um, maybe he'll do it down the road, but it wasn't happening this year. But the Reddit stream is hilarious. The comments and everyone's like, I just want to be a part of the comments because if this becomes true, this is the single greatest like. <laughs> like detective thing i've ever witnessed in my life um so maybe i mean i've heard people ruling it out but until you maybe they have to rule it out chris because they can't talk about the fact that he's on the mass singer that would ruin i've never watched the mass singer but i feel like if you knew who one of the singers was kind of messes with it's the whole purpose of the show if i'm not mistaken yeah you're not wrong now by the way reddit is undefeated almost like literally you can throw any like it's fast like there are people that have like cr- like crimes and mysteries that have taken place cold cases yeah that someone throws in this cold case and like the reddit community dives in and goes after it and they solve the case faster than the damn police do <laughs> like then detective like fbi has been trying to solve these cases for years you got reddit coming in looking up all the crazy crazy sit like all the the videos the documents the like there's dark web like puzzles that people like get really in, like, it, reddit it figures that out it's crazy yeah and and to be honest like i think tom brady it was rumored he was going to come back a long time ago they said after this second preseason game so the timeline fits with that as far as him coming back this week which it sounds like he is in the next couple days but at the same time he's like i i gotta get my ass back i'm either getting my ass back or retiring because these rumors are out of control oh people we already know what rumors did to manti teo all of a sudden but i I still think it's super weird i i understand tom brady's 
the most successful quarterback as far as you know accomplishments in the league as far as championships obviously super bowls um so he's maybe gained that right but like i don't know when you have a new head coach as they do with todd bowles in tampa and you have tom brady leaving who's in charge there who's in charge of that offense are should the players what if what if tom brady and todd bowles disagree who are the who are the players supposed to believe like trust or follow or believe in like do you follow your coach or do you follow your 87 year old quarterback that may be gone next year and then you have to deal with that coach that knows you didn't follow what he had to say because i get it i'm like I, i'm gonna follow tom like he's the goat but at the same time tom could be gone next year tom retires like it's his job he, re- he retires and yearly he, he tries to move to other teams i mean he he plays the field <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't, I hope he's faithful in marriage because he is not faithful to his football team, Chris. <laughs> he is working side deals. He did it before he left New England. He does it now. He's always trying to deal, wheel and deal, and get out of the situation he's in because he's not happy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Milwaukee best NIL deal for Brady. Uh, he's also, um, we we're talking about why he was gone. He's like, I heard it had to do with the Dolphins. Don't worry, it's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, I believe they just filmed a new season and he had a deal with Fox. Yeah. I mean, he has a deal with Fox standing deal to be a part of their broadcast team. Once he retires, Correct. all that's true, but he's not, he's not on mass singer guys. (laughs) Everyone's going to be guessing on every single mass singer, uh, contestant or like the, the, they're they're, going to guess him every single time. Fox right now must be thrilled. They're like, we're going to get so much more viewership because people think Tom Brady's on this. Oh, seriously. Like, yeah, they're, and they're like, can you imagine when Tom? he's not Which and they get Tom? all those ratings? It's like, they, they don't care. They don't care at that point. By the way, I haven't seen one of those like <clears throat> Mass Singer or like game shows in so long. I'm confused. I've never watched Mass Singer. I'm confused at the appeal of it. Is it just like you become a detective and try and sleuth who it is? Like what C list celebrity might this be? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean It's la- like Dancing with the Stars. I also think that's I've never I've never been on board with any of those C list celebrity shows where people are just grasping at whatever they can to salvage their career and they go on a dancing or singing show or whatever. No, thank you. I have no offense, just not, not, I won't say I have more <laughs> important things to do. I get why it appeals to a lot of people, just not for me. That's why I stick to all the cooking shows, man, all the Gordon Ramsay <sighs> cooking shows. It's, 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 you just, I might, love yeah, a fiery I'm, chef. I might just learn something potentially, uh, while watching and it's entertaining. So there's that. Uh, what else do we have here? Everyone has been trying to figure out what he could have had to do didn't uh didn't have a definitive end date mass singer would be that uh suspended but not suspended what else do we have wait till they lose the first game and someone blames the mass singer says andy yep yeah they probably will yeah they probably will because at that point i mean the season won't be over so it'll be like thanks a lot mass singer you uh, ruined tom brady for us G girl in the chat. Do you think he's really unhappy in Tampa Bay? So much talent there. I think, I think there was when there's smoke, there's fire, and there was smoke when there was Bruce Arian stuff was Bruce happening. Arians. I mean, there's it, Bruce Arian stepping away was not a coincidence. That it 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 happened very. I mean, we, we hit the conspiracy music again. I mean, it it it, it was ominous the way. Bruce was ready to go, all all ready for the season. All of a sudden, he's like, "Actually, no, I'm going to go into the front office, and we'll you know do things from there." The same time that Brady was like, "Oh yeah, I'm coming back." Well, it's because he didn't. There was some there was some philosophical issues going on behind the scenes between what Brady wanted to do versus what Bruce Arians was looking to do. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Do I think Brady thinks this team's talented enough? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the talent was the issue. It was the the mix with Bruce Arians, and he didn't want to deal with that. And like, if he can get partial partial ownership stake in another team, as clearly was discussed and rumored with Miami, um, why wouldn't he die, You know, jump in on that. Um, but no, I, I don't think he was 
unhappy with the roster. I don't think the roster was the issue in Tampa. I think it was him and Bruce. And I think Todd Bowles is probably just going to stay the hell out of the way of the offense. Yeah. Like, I think Tom Brady is quasi head coach. Like, he's the offensive coordinator. I know. That's how it was with Peyton um, back in Denver. I mean, as- Lef- Leftwich is still there, right? As their OC. I mean, he was getting he a lot get a, of. He didn't get an. He didn't get a head coaching job, so he I must don't, still be there. No, yeah. Um, so Leftwich and Brady are going to do all the offensive stuff. Todd Bowles won't touch that, and he'll just focus on team management and defense. And that might work. I actually like Todd Bowles. I think Todd Bowles is a hell of a coach. Uh, I think he's a much better coach than Bruce Arians, frankly. So I think it's an upgrade, in my opinion. Um, but the the only thing I'll say about Tampa's roster is it's. It's aging. They haven't like there's not a huge inflection of youth going on there where they're just getting a little older and a little older every well, year. Well, and they're coming some of the older guys are coming off injuries. We got younger guys coming off injuries. You know, you got like all Godwin. sorts of things. Godwin's coming back. Fournette was injury prone last year. He's an older guy. Like, you know, it, it, there's just a lot of pieces that they're relying on heavily that may not necessarily come back every year the way that you think they might. So, uh, let's see what else. Brady's masquerading uh, as Brett Favre. Will I retire or won't? Depending on if I get what I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, but can't you Devil schedule dogs. a vacation? Um, what else? In the summer? You, you can, unless you just want to play your cards to be like, listen, the, the reason I was retiring fake retirement again um was to spend more time with family so i just want more time off um because at the end of the day tom brady probably doesn't he worries about where they're at in week 15 16 17 18 not where they're at week one this might affect a win or a loss in in the early stages because the timing is a little off but ultimately he cares about winning super bowls and this team is going to be in the playoffs um there's no doubt about that. Uh, Devil Doc's really defending. He took it personally when I when I called out um, the mass singer, which I wasn't really calling out. It's just not for me. Um, they had top tier singers apparently, like Gladys Knight, the Osmond Twins were on there. Okay. And, oh, uh, Hanson. 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 There what we is go. The one we're the most excited for, Chris. Uh, <laughs> but uh, little mm-bop. yeah. Milwaukee's best tampering with Miami. He was suspended. So I I agree with what Andy followed up with. Wouldn't the league announce this a suspension? Yeah, they're not gonna do a quiet suspension. You can't do a quiet suspension because the moment any other player in the league hears that you did a quiet suspension for a player, you have to do it for everyone. You can't do it. There's no way you could get away with it. I don't think this was a suspension. I don't think this was a quiet suspension behind the scenes. Someone would out it if they figured it out. And it's just not worth it to the league to risk that. Yeah. What else do we got? Hey, what's up, Unknown? How are we doing tonight? Unknown 2324. Hope you're having a great, great weekend. Milwaukee's tampering on Miami. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Brady dealt with Belichick so many years. Now he's like, um, I'm going to do what I want. Arians is in the way. Totally. I mean, you, you, you're on the greener pastures away from... You know, being a, you can enjoy things a little bit more. I don't. I guarantee you, if he was still in New England, he wouldn't be doing no mass singer. <laughs> there wouldn't be these kind of rumors. <laughs> Milwaukee's <laughs> Milwaukee's coming in with look what the NBA did with Jordan. He retired and then came back. No, I don't buy that either. I don't buy that rumor that the NBA suspended Jordan and that's why he retired. I, I that's not. I understand that there's people out there that feel that way, and there's some backing to it. I just don't subscribe to that i i just think jordan was like i would i think literally jordan had the mind like i've done i've won three straight i'm the greatest player at this but what if i become the greatest and in his mind he was super confident that he could become an elite baseball player clearly that didn't work and that's why he jumped ship pretty quickly back to the nba but i just think it was all jordan thinking like yes i just i am the single greatest basketball player to ever exist now if i go and dominate baseball i become the greatest athlete of all time and no one could ever argue that moving forward there you go yeah yeah chairman i believe brady what else we got here 
don't really follow my senior, but that's isn't that show live? Isn't it? Yeah, it, there is a live it's, component to it. I, it, it, I think. think after the first like first the, rounds, it sounds like based off the Reddit I read, you, you have to advance and then it becomes if you reach the like whatever round, then it becomes live, I believe. Uh, that and MJ was secretly suspended, says Cuban. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop with this, guys. <laughs> all right so there's there you have it that's what we have to work with on this one now i'm sure i mean when things leak like this and uh, i mean gronk it's great that he's not playing anymore because he's just opening his mouth and talking about all sorts of fun stuff so maybe he'll you know talk a little bit more obviously no one there's not not a lot of players as close to tom brady as gronk is so maybe he'll go on these shows maybe he, you know what we need to get gronk we need to get him a podcast we need to get him a podcast yep Gronk, th when he retired the last time, he went on like network television with Fox and did like the halftime and pregame and postgame. To me, it didn't work at all. That's not the outlet that Gronk fits in. Gronk needs like his own side thing that's just like casual. Like I don't need Gronk analyzing the game. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not. And not that he can't. It just comes off like eh, he's not. He's not the best option for that. As far as like explaining everything this and that i'd rather gronk's just entertaining so get yourself a different platform figure out where you fit in it's just not on those network programs for yeah. Gronk, in my opinion yeah exactly so there you have it that's how we're, that's going to wrap up brady all the info on that but again if you want to catch single a single greatest storyline in preseason and he's not even <laughs> he's not even around there. football no uh, Brady doesn't fly commercial. No, uh, he definitely flies commercial. Come on, guys. He's probably just trying to get into that A class of Southwest. Like, how do I? I'm gonna pay that extra ten bucks to get a you know guaranteed A Cuban pass. Cuban says he rides Greyhound, which I see that happening too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Gre yeah. Greyhound buses he's, are still a thing. He's wealthy, but grounded, guys. Very <laughs> grounded. Hey, Andrew, great question. How do you get into the A boarding group? Not easily. More, I think it's 10 or 15 more bucks, Andy. It's <laughs> it's steep. It's steep. But Brady Brady does it. He, he He's able to afford that, barely. There you 